Hey there frog fam, Steve Cather here from Combo Mantra. Today we're going to discuss how to self-serve hape or shamanic snuff. Now with these Amazonian snuffs there are many many varieties. Um, I currently have eight different varieties that I have available for sale as well as some kuripes which are the self-service applicator that you use to give yourself a shamanic snuff. Now depending on what type of uh, need you have and depending on what type of personality you have you can choose from many different varieties of hape or rape depending on who you talk to uh, as far as how it's pronounced and each one has a very different energetic character I really think of each one of the types that I have uh, kind of in the same way as a mantra you know if a mantra is designed to tap into a very specific energy a hape has a very similar characteristic and that each one has its own very distinct energy, its own very distinct character and you can kind of think of it as a fine wine or a beer in that you know it's not everybody's cup of tea, not everybody loves hape um, but those that do really appreciate the character of each individual type. So uh, I've been using hape quite a bit recently in my spiritual practice for the last several years um, but here in the last several weeks I've begun to use it a little bit more often to help clean my sinuses to help clean out my nose to get rid of any potential for viral infection because we're in this time of quarantine right now and anytime I go out in public and share air with somebody in an elevator or walking down a hallway um, I'd like to do what I can to clear that out so Hape is a blend typically of jungle tobacco, mapacho, which is Nicotiana rustica, and the other ingredients, there are tons and tons of different varieties, but it's going to be a combination of either herbs or flowers or ashes from sacred plants, and that's what gives each one its very different character and a very distinct flavor and aroma and a different feeling um, because they're using all these different plants. So with each different type uh, the dosage may vary and with each different type the intensity is definitely going to vary some hapes are very uplifting some are very grounding some are very mild and some are very strong uh, there are also psychedelic hapes out there and we won't really be discussing those today but uh, we're going to just show you how to use a kuripe and how to self-serve with hape so if you'd like to make this part of your daily practice or occasional practice um, or use it for so cleansing to help clean out your sinuses, your nasal cavities, um, get rid of any phlegm or anything that you might have from congestion, this is a really great way to do it. So the first thing that I'll show you here uh, are a couple of different type of kuripes that I have available and they're available all over the place. You definitely don't have to get them from me. Um, Etsy is a great place and there are a number of websites that have different types available. So a very basic kuripe looks like this and this one is bamboo that has been burned with a nice little pattern in it. Um, I have some others that are made from hardwoods and then you can get into the really fancy ones. These are actually carved bone um, and hardwood. And these are actually all carved by an Indonesian bone carver who's a Hindu bone carver, carves for a lot of his local temples. And all of these are ethically and sustainably made. And all of the bone is collected from animals that have died for other purposes or have died naturally. So nothing is killed or harmed to make these specifically. All of the woods are from deadfall and or from repurposed materials. Um, and some of them get very intricate, as you can see here. Uh, this one is beautifully carved and has lots and lots of detail to it. Now, my personal curipe looks like this. Uh, it was made in Brazil. And this is a piece of goat bone and two different types of hardwood. It's beautifully crafted, and I carry this one with me every day. So why do I carry this with me every day? Uh, I like to use hape. I like to use it on occasions where I'm looking for some spiritual insight, maybe some energetic clearing, um, using it for grounding or to lift me up. So typically the, the 
types of hape that I carry with me um, are more energetic because I, I tend to need them more to energize me rather than to ground me. So what I'll show you today is, is how I use hape and how to use a kuripe. And the variety that I'm going to be using today is a Kashinawa Forza. And Forza means force in Portuguese. And this is a very, very strong hape. Now, the amount that I serve myself is going to be probably different than what you serve yourself. If you're an experienced user, you're probably going to find that you start using a little bit more of it as you become more comfortable with using this medicine. Um, I'm going to show you today just kind of a, a basic amount or a normal amount for most people. So the first thing that we're going to do is open our bottle and I'm going to pour a small amount into my hand here. And this is a very, very fine powder. So it's like flour. The, the consistency is extremely fine powder. So I have about a pea-sized little pile here in my hand. And I like to use a little spatula device here that you may not be able to really see because it's clear. But I use that to separate two little piles in the palm of my hand. And each of those piles, one is for each nostril. Then what I'll do is I'll take my curipe and blow through it to clear out anything that may be remaining in there so that I know my dose is consistent. I'm going to scrape it up and load one of those little piles into the longer portion of the curipe. So the long portion goes into your nose, the short portion goes into your mouth. I always like to say a short prayer before I use my hape just to set my intention and to show my respect for the medicine. So I'll just say, Gracias, Hapecito. Please let this medicine serve me. Please let it help me shed those things which no longer serve me. I'm going to take this, I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to put this end into my left nostril. The left side symbolizes death. The right side symbolizes rebirth. So I always begin with the left side. I'm going to take a deep breath. Hold it. Then I'm going to blow into the mouthpiece with this piece into my nose. Give a fairly sharp blow. If you're new to using hape, this is going to be fairly shocking for you. Uh, immediately, your left eye is probably going to start to water as mine is. It's going to burn a little bit. It's going to sting and tingle. And after you've kind of regained your composure, you can move on to the other side. So I've already loaded the other portion into the curipe. As I said, this is very strong hape. I really like the forces because I like the stronger hape. It's not everybody's cup of tea. So it's good to have some Kleenex or tissue. Um, you wipe the tears out of your eyes. And ideally, you're going to let this hape sit in your nose and in your nasal cavities for a few minutes before you really do anything with it. Because I use hape regularly, um, you know, it doesn't take quite as long for me to recuperate. But your first couple times that you use this, it's going to be very intense. And it's going to burn quite a bit. And after the first nostril, you're going to think, what am I doing? What has Steve talked me into doing here? Um, but if you can sit quietly... Um, for, you know, five minutes or so. And if your nose begins to run, you can definitely wipe it. But let that hape sit up in your nasal cavities and in your sinuses for a couple of minutes at least. If you sniff too quickly, it's going to go right to the back of your throat and you may cough and choke. But if you let it sit for a few minutes, it's going to bring up a lot of mucus, a lot of phlegm. And the environmental toxins that we take in are quite often trapped in our mucus and our phlegm. So letting those things come to the surface, uh, letting it build up, and letting the hape soak into your nasal passages um, is a really good idea before you try to blow your nose. Now, ideally, all of the hape that you take in through your nose is going to come out through your mouth. And there will be no judgment of your ladylike or gentlemanly behavior. So I like to have a bucket close by. And after the hape has been allowed to sit for a few minutes, um, if you're not used to using any type of tobacco product, you may feel a buzz from this. Um, so the dosage, again, is very important. Start very light 
and work your way up. Don't start with a really heavy dose your first time. Start with a very small amount. After you can feel it, start to kind of get that post-nasal drip coming down in the back. You're going to spit it into your bucket. And like I said, it's not necessarily a beautiful process, uh, but it is definitely a beautiful medicine. After it's been sitting in there for a few minutes, you can, you can definitely blow your nose. Um, after you serve yourself with hape, sometimes it's really nice to just sit with your eyes closed. And just breathe and just feel the music, feel the breath, feel the energy coursing through your body. Now, after a few minutes, after you've gotten most of it out through your mouth by snorting it and spitting it out, you can definitely blow your nose into your tissue. Um, I recommend that you let it sit as long as you can in your nose before you try to blow it out. And if you're not a tobacco user, it may be a little unwise for you to swallow anything that, that comes through. Um, it can really get to you. So anybody who's ever had... Uh, too much tobacco knows that it can really get you spinning so just take it easy start slowly and learn the character of each one of these medicines and you'll learn a great deal of respect for them so thank you so much for watching the video and you can go to my website at combomantra.com for more information we don't have any public circles scheduled currently but we'll be back on the calendar here before too long hopefully as the COVID-19 crisis begins to wane and you can always contact me through my website. Again, that's ComboMantra.com. Leave any comments down in the comment section. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer those for you. Green light and gentle healing to all of you. Have a wonderful day.